everybody, Mike Stuchiner, Master Herbalist, and I am here today again with Z Natural Foods for another video in regards to their herb and superfood education program. Okay, today this video is kind of tending towards people who have really never used herbs or superfoods before and it could even really be based off of people who have used only certain types like perhaps you've only used mostly like the fruits or only certain types of herbs versus other categories of superfoods and herbs so what I want to discuss with you today is the most efficient way that someone who has never used herbs and superfoods, how they should start and how they should begin to feel and go into a few of these little topics that we seem to get a lot of questions at Z Natural Foods about, okay? So depending on, of course, what category of herb or superfood you're using will depend on how aggressively you can begin. The first thing I do need to give you a little caveat about here is, is that herbs and superfoods are, can be very concentrated foods depending on whether you're using the whole herb versus maybe an extract powder. Okay, and based on the herb or the food and based on the concentration of it will really base on, will really dictate, I should say, how you're going to utilize these, these foods, especially at the beginning, so you have, I guess you could say, a very successful takeoff, okay? Because, again, if you have what would be considered a negative beginning, chances are you're not going to want to continue using foods that are very nourishing to the body if you didn't have a good initial experience with it. So that's what I want to kind of help to clear up for you guys and to make it nice and simple, okay? So for the most part, any of the fruit powders that you use, you can generally start with, in most cases, anywhere from a teaspoon to a tablespoon, okay? If they are a, if they are a, if it's a fruit extract powder or a fruit juice based powder, then you'll want to start with a teaspoon because anything more than that at the beginning is really just going to be overkill. Okay. Now, if you're going to use a greens, whether it's chlorella, spirulina, any of the greens, or even any of the grasses, whether it's a leaf, an algae, a seaweed anything under that category you always want to go low and slow at the beginning especially if you've never used these foods these foods do support our detoxification pathways in the body okay and because of that you may feel somewhat of what you might call a detoxification response from these foods so the more you use the more that response might be very apparent to you, okay? So therefore, and of course, I, I want people to understand that's, that's never anything to feel concerned or nervous or worried about. But some people don't like those feelings at the beginning, and it can be a little bit uncomfortable for some people because remember, this is the food is supporting our body to do the job itself. Okay, so the less you take at the beginning, the, the less you will be likely to feel any type of a stronger action from these foods. Notice how I didn't say reaction. It's an action from these foods. And there's a big difference between, as in my last video, I talked about effect versus side effect. Okay, these are the effects that these foods have versus a negative, which is a side effect. Okay, so when you're dealing with any of the foods in those categories, whether it's the leaf, the grasses, whether it's the juice grass or the regular grass, whether it's an algae, whether it's any type of a greens or green-based food, you want to start real small if you've never used it before. What is small? A quarter of a teaspoon to a half a teaspoon for most people would be a pretty good start dosage for the first week or two. And then you can slowly work your way up to a half a teaspoon until you've gotten up over a, maybe a two or three month period up to a whole teaspoon or a tablespoon per day. Okay. Once you've gotten that rhythm down and you understand how your body is going to respond to these foods, then you can go and play a little bit more in the water if you get my drift. 
No pun intended. Even though it was funny because it's an algae joke. You get it? Okay. So, anyway, <clears throat> when you're talking about <clears throat> other things like herbs, um, again, depending on whether or not it's a tonic and an adaptogen, an extract or a whole herb, or it's a medicinal-based herb, that, again, will determine how you begin the process. Usually, if you're going to use what would be considered a medicinal herb, it's only going to be for a shorter period of time. So just going full force at it is something I always encourage, okay, and just go at it, okay? Um, with any type of a tonic and an adaptogen, um, if it's the whole versus the extract powder, okay, you can certainly use less of the extract powder because there's no need to use more. And with tonics and adaptogens, you're getting what's called a cumulative effect over time. So again, small amounts every day and just be as consistent as humanly possible. Because remember, the biggest key to success is consistency, 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 all three of them, okay? Don't ever skip. Okay, guys? So, again, let me review this one more time so we're all crystal clear, okay? When you're talking about the fruit powders, you're going, whether it's a juice powder or a regular for whole food fruit powder, you can feel free to start with a teaspoon to a tablespoon, okay? When you're dealing with any of the greens, grasses, algaes, seaweeds, you start as small as possible and you slowly work your way up over time. Because remember, those are the foods that are going to support a healthy detoxification response, okay? And they're going to help to clear those detoxification pathways. And then with, with herbs, adaptogens and tonics, usually when you're dealing with the whole herb, a teaspoon to a tablespoon is fine. With one of the extract powders, a teaspoon is plenty to start with. Okay, guys? So I hope this has cleared up any misinformation or any confusion that you might have had on this topic. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day.